This spectacular fort is a famous landmark, associated with one of the most popular freedom fighters of India, Rani Lakshmi Bai, who has been immortalized in Indian history. It is here that she lived, reigned and fought and it is here that you will catch a glimpse of her story. This fort forms the heart of historic Jhansi, which has many attractions that go back to the ancient times. Our journey of discovery starts at the very heart of Jhansi and its greatest draw, the Jhansi fort that dominates the city. Originally built by the famous Bundela ruler Veer Singh Judev in 1613, it was extensively enlarged and strengthened by Jhansi's Maratha rulers in the late 18th century. It was in this very fort that Rani Lakshmi Bai arrived as a young bride of Raja Gangadhar Rao in 1842. The fort and the buildings within were heavily damaged during the revolt of 1857, but you can still see the remnants of past splendour here. Inside the fort are remains of the former royal palace, the famous Shiva temple where Rani worshipped and the Baradari of her husband, Raja Gangadhar Rao. Here, you will also find two very famous cannons, Kadak Bijli and Bhavani Shankar, which thundered during the revolt of 1857. Historic places associated with the life of Rani Lakshmi Bai are also found around Jhasi city. The most famous is the Rani Mehel, where Rani Lakshmi Bai lived between 1853 and 1857. Near the Mehel is the famous Ganesh Mandir, where the marriage of Raja Gangadhar Rao and Rani Lakshmi Bai took place in 1842. Another famous temple is the Mahalakshmi Mandir, where the Rani used to pray regularly. The cenotaph of Raja Gangadhar Rao is located close to this temple. Following the British annexation of Jhansi in 1853 and the revolt of 1857, Jhansi became an important cantonment town and a railway junction under the British Raj. There are a number of monuments in Jhansi dating to the British time. The most notable among them is the Star Fort, Jhansi's second fort built by the British as an armory and a treasury. Today, it is hidden within the cantonment. Near the Star Fort is the Joban Bagh, a memorial to the British civilians killed during the revolt of 1857. Within the cantonment, you will also find a beautiful British War Cemetery, the St. Mark's Church and the Shrine of St. Jude's where devotees believe their wishes are fulfilled. Outside this core of historic Jhansi, there is a lot else for the avid traveller and the history buff. We take you on a tour. Around 27 kilometers south of Jhansi is the cantonment town of Babina. Its name is actually an acronym for the British Army base in North Asia. Around 9 kilometers from Babina is the Sukma Dukma Dam, one of India's engineering marvels. Within this dam is a kilometer long tunnel with the water falling above it that simply takes your breath away. Around 27 kilometers from the Sukma Dukma Dam is the 17th century Bundela fort of Tal Behat, a stronghold of Rani Lakshmi Bai's main ally, Raja Mardan Singh of Bandpur. Those seeking further adventure can travel to Devgarh, 77 kilometers ahead in UP's Lalitpur district, to admire the Gupta Ira Dashavatar temple and the spectacular Buddhist rock cut caves on the cliffs by the Betwar River dating from 2nd to the 5th centuries. In the Lalitpur district, you can also visit the Rajghar Dam and another beautiful dam known as the Matatila Dam that is on the border of Jhansi and Lalitpur districts. Around 67 kilometers from Devgarh is the historic town of Chanderi, famous for its beautiful weave, the Chanderi Sari. Chanderi is also known for its spectacular fort, the Badal Mehel, and a gateway known as Kati Ghati. Beyond Chanderi lies Shivpuri, 
the former summer capital of the princely state of Gwalior that was known for its Madhav National Park and the George Castle within it. Around 12 kilometers southeast from Jhansi is Orcha, the historic capital of the Bundela Kingdom in the 16th and the 17th century, known for its beautiful palaces, temples and chhatris. The most notable building here is the Ram Raja Temple, the only temple in India where Lord Ram is worshipped as a king and an armed salutation is offered to him every day by the local police. Beyond Orcha lies the Fort of Barwa Sagar, one of the most magnificent forts in Bundelkhand, where a historic battle was fought between the forces of the British East India Company and Tatya Tope in 1857. Around 40 kilometers from Barwa Sagar is the fortress of Tehrauli that leaves you awestruck with its vast expanse. But undoubtedly, the most interesting of all the forts in this area is the Garkundar. Located 15 kilometers south of Tehrauli, it was the seat of the Kangar dynasty in the 12th century, which later became the first capital of the Bundelas in the 13th century. To the north of Jhansi are the three fortresses of Amargad, Lohagad, and Samthar, each of which tell a fascinating story. The fort of Amargad, located 48 kilometers from Jhansi, was once the seat of the powerful Naga Sanyasi warrior Mahans who fought great wars. 30 kilometers north of Amargad is the fort of Samthar, seat of India's only ruling Gujar dynasty. The Samthar Fort is a fascinating synthesis of French and Bundelkhandi architecture. 13 kilometers from Samthar are the remains of the fortress of Lohagad, which was a scene of heavy fighting between the Indian revolutionaries and the British in 1857. Around 87 kilometers from Lohagad is the historic town of Kalpi on the banks of the river Yamuna, which is known for its historic monuments such as the Chaurasi Gumbad and the Lanka Minar. It is in the Kalpi fort that Rani Lakshmibai and Tatya Tope resisted the British after the fall of Jhansi in 1858. Just 28 kilometers northwest from Jhansi is Datya, once the seat of a Bundela princely state. Datya is known for its spectacular Veer Singh Mehal a palace built by Raja Veer Singh Judev for his close friend Mughal Emperor Jahangir. Datya is also famous for the Sri Pitambara Peeta temple dedicated to Goddess Bagalamukhi. Also within the complex is a temple dedicated to Goddess Dhumavati where a special yagya was conducted to invoke the blessings of the Goddess during the Indochina War of 1962. Around 16 kilometers from Datya is a great complex of Jain temples on a hill known as Sonagiri. As per Jain religious tradition, it is believed that on this sacred hill, the 8th Jain Tirthankar Chandra Prabhu achieved moksha. Chasi and the region around it have played an important role in Indian history due to its unique location connecting North and South India. Visit this area and you will get a sense of its great past.